Hi, and welcome to Santa's workshop. So, yesterday we put the rail on here, and today I put one more, uh, if you can see it from there, one more on here, all the way around, and I put these support beams, and this case sticks on here. So, and I put a door in, and now we are going to make uh, this part. I have started on it, but uh, we will continue with that uh, so we can get a little more up in the air. So, but I, I was in a hurry, so I had to do the, the, let's see here if you can see better what I'm doing. Like this. <clears throat> I had to do the kids' workshop today also, so that was a little uh, busy, busy. So, but uh, I, this was not bent enough, I think, to get all the way around. <clears throat> no, it's we will see. I will do this like this, and one of these like this, and then the two of it's a little difficult to stand um, just to glue them. Um, one at a time, so do this one. Whoops, there's some. some dry glue in the tip. This one on here. There is a lot of waiting on glue to dry and paint to dry and so on, but that we have to get over because that's the way it is. It dries reasonably quick, not totally dry, but kind of sticks. But then when we have done this, we only lack the top part and the windows and the wings and so on, but you know. I guess I can hold the prediction that I will be finished with this one in this week, and next week we can make another stop. But uh, for newcomers, it's 
all about mechanical uh, decoration, like in the olden days when you visited the town and in the, all the big stores they have stuff like this. old landscapes with moving stuff. Then we will put this over here so it can kind of support it a little while I do another. So and you can see I have not that camera, this camera, you can see I have made it so it, the angle uh, should be right, but oh. it's kind of handmade wood carving, so sometimes a little hard to get the angle right and so on. But when we put the last one on, we can force it together, I think, hope or we will break it all and then have to start all over. We will see how it goes. <clears throat> Well, I think the next one we will build is, uh, in next week, we will build a water mill. And after that, we will go on to a train. And we will not use a board a kind of Merklin train or something like that model. We'll make something ourselves. Because that's that's how they were at that time. And I think it's more fun. Can we see if it sticks? And we will take one more support here. That's one little one. I will get something. <coughs> Sorry, I will get the template for the wings. Somehow I have taken those in here and then you can see not that camera but this camera the wrong mice too many mice mice and too many cameras this one, see, you put wings like this on. So, but uh, we will make them also. But as you can see, but they kind of need to bend a little more. I don't know why. Let's 
see if they break or not because it's too little. little bit but not enough see now it's not too loose My angle hasn't been. Oops! This we could not do. See how that. See? That is better. I have to take it over here a little. Oops, there was needles in that one. See in the hole here. Always a little tricky with that part, but uh, we will get it to fit. Something wrong with that one, it's kind of bending. No, yes, it is, but we will make it. kind of curling this curling uh, this way but uh, oops you will make it oops go the right way And then we will see if we can get it all to fit together. It has to be a octopus to hold all this.
but some, sometimes you don't have tools that can can do it in another way. So you have to make it hand held. But when you are finished, you have forgotten all about all the troubles you had. Especially when the result gets nice. And that's what we are hoping for here. Now, will it stick or will it not? It will. But to get it real dry, it will take about 24 hours. So, but that's why we can adjust it a little. In this state, we'll move this a little. Can we? Move this over here. So, see if we can get this done. Keep the concentration. Oops. So, Now it would be nice to know if I should more or less up and down. But we will find out in a little while. Because I will raise it up before it's all dry so I can kind of force it together. Up, not that good. See, I'm holding a little in. Can you 
see anything for me. Now we will get all the troubles. Stop shaking. I will move my camera a little down. So. So you can see when the bad thing happens here in a little while. Put this down here. No, that was not a good idea. I think I will need a little help from tape. No, this tape is not very helpful, but we will take something else. Some paint of tape. Oops, now it's starting to. Go apart all over the place. So. Ah, don't curl now. Fumpling, fumpling, fumpling. Oops. That was not helpful. Not any good. Take another one. to <laughs> ah. 
That's not good either. One thing. We get very, very serious. Black copper. That's good what this stuff. How does it look here? So, let us see if we can cover. It has to adjust. It's a little. Kind of well, I think this is if we then I think we have to do something here. Oops. Come on. It's not, this is not the way to put glue on, but I have to. What should I else do? So I can fill it down here. Because I have broken the glue. I will take a strip more of this. I love Gabba. What I hope for here is that the glue will run down in the cracks, or oh, I will push it down in the cracks. Because now I 
when I forced it, I broke some of the wood because I did them not so long ago. But if I had waited to tomorrow, it would have been too late. still. Grew all over the place. Need more gutter. I know you cannot see what I'm doing, but I have to do this while it's possible. But we kind of got it fixed. Ah. So? kind of wiggly wobbly as you can see yeah. it's don't stand right but that I will get to fit when this is dry and then we have a tower right I hope we have And now you can we will move this backwards a little and zoom it out. That was the uh, most I could zoom. But you can see and up here. This will turn around. Sorry for the moving. I don't hope you got seasick. <clears throat> but I hope it's when that is dry tomorrow, then it sticks. But it was kind of unconventional way to do it. 
right there. That's how it goes when it goes. And then we need a top for it. And you can see I have to sew all these. And there are 16s in this part. We will change to this. Uh, Mara here. And point against the mill. You can see we have to have this one on the top and there are 16 of these small pieces I have to cut and then 16 of these but I will start doing that tomorrow because that's so and so on and so on so so we will start I know this will this is the right size so So we will see what we can do with that. I'll get a stick, big stick. You can see to, to this, I use these, this little one, and to the wings, I will use this. This is nine times nine. And this is only six times six. So that's what we will use for that. And this is the actual size one to one. And I don't have anything to draw with. that. Where is it? Here it is. And then we have to, you can see, so you can remember what, what this is. You can see this one, that's the model for it. Uh, it's a Danish uh, windmill that stands on the on the island. That's a Fano is the island's name. And that's what we are going for. But uh, can take a measurement instead so we get it right from the start I'll go behind the camera and get a ruler but tomorrow I can work on it all day today I had to get something ready for the boat 32 it is thirty two centimeters long. So it's kind of a big mill. Right. Had this one. <clears throat> I 
pill and just for yes and then I go over here for a moment and cut it oh, where I need it I think I will do it here I don't have room for all the stuff I do. Oops. Now I I wish uh, another bigger studio for my for Christmas. Or oh, that's maybe too big a Christmas gift. But I do. Oops. And then I need to get rid of this one. Go away. Now it will be a little noisy for a short while. <coughs> Only for a short while. And I take one more in the same size now that we are at it. I moved it. And again. Ah. I want them exactly the same length thank you yes <coughs> so And we will remove this one. See? Sorry, lady. It was not my mean. Yes. So this and the fun part of this is that they just is laying up on it, up on each other as you can see in the in the middle picture if you can where is here you can see They are not. They are not sunk together like this. They are just. <coughs> sorry. Yeah, just uh, right on each side. And then we need to uh, drill. Put sticks in, as you can see on the picture. There are. Then I drill holes and put sticks in the holes like this, like the, this one, and then one in the length of it. I will go as close as I can to the model, not 
hundred percent because it's when it's the scale is that small and then you need some special sticks and so on. They are thinner and then you can use thread and then it gets very complex. And it's a Christmas decoration, a mechanical one. So that's good enough. But as you can see, tomorrow I have to saw all these out to to uh, where can you see? Tomorrow I will saw, saw all these small ones out and the lengthy one here and see how well we can get this to fit together when we are finished. So we have a head on it and I will do this a little. So, so we can get this one on. You can see now. And then the, we need to have a rim around it that fit with this so we can get, you know, the motor is planted down inside it, down here, and then we have to have something we can, a uh, rubber band or something, we can get the, this one to turn around. And the mill are going to sit in a hole in this one. Uh, you cannot see from my hand, but I'm making a hole in this one for the mill. And then the axle through that part and then we have to figure out how to uh, this motor is running uh, 15,000 rpms uh, no not 15,000 5,000 rpm so the mill will take off with if we started in that way so we we can either get the RPMs down with a gear, or we can uh, starve it from uh, power, and we'll, I will experiment uh, starve starve it for power with uh, put some resistors on it. Uh, but then we will find out. That's the smallest problem, and then I have to make something to put it on because. Uh, no, no, uh, in the lower part here, I need to have a, a seat for it or something like that. And then because I need to get access to it down here, or I can never get the, the, get the a rubber band or whatever on it. And then I had, okay, that's because of the glue. Uh, and then the top I has to this I will glue to here that's okay but the top I has to be able to get off and set the band on and then get down to the other one and then but uh, find out how to do that but as you can see we are coming we are getting a little uh, on the way to get a whole mill. I think it start to look real. So, and the wings, and uh, and then, by the way, you can see we have the part that here. We have the part here on the back side of the house where you can see the there is a little rosette uh, uh, that is the part that make the make the the mill turns up against the wind when so it the upper part can turn around in the real life we will not do that but 
that's how it works and that will be able to turn up against the wind when when this one is on the on the back side of it so we need to make one of these two but uh, we will get there but I'll hope I get a lot done tomorrow so we can but I will not start sawing because that's a lot of noise and uh, I start drilling so that I will do tomorrow and then I, we will sample it tomorrow or, or, or as much as we can so so I will say thank you for today for Christmas uh, Santa's workshop here and uh, see you again tomorrow same time same place and you can follow all the others on uh, pixelfantasies.com and please subscribe we make a lot of fun stuff so see you bye bye